Hello, in this Kotlin programming video, we are going to look at regex. So what is regex? Starters, it stands for regular expression. Regular expression, it can look a bit daunting sometimes when you see some code for it online or some description. It's basically just checking if you know a string matches a pattern. That, that's all it is. So if we do a really simple example, so if I have var, and I'm gonna call this Pattern. So the pattern that we want to match against is you do we always equal to regex. So this is a built-in class. And then you say, and then the pattern we can do. So you pass in a parameter, and this will be assigned to pattern and the pattern. So before we do the pattern, let's create a string. I'm going to create a string for var. I'm going to say str equals and it's always good to put the data type. There we go. And what we are going to do is check if there are two A's in there. So that's the pattern we're going to check for. Now, to actually essentially check if it matches, we we just essentially do this. So the var result equals regex. I mean, sorry, pattern dot contains matching. And then we specify the input, and the input is the string, like so. And now, if we were to print out, print it out. So if I print out the result, run it. Let's see what we get. True, because AA is in there. Let's say if I put AF, AF is not in there in that combination. So if we run it. False. Why if I put, you know, two uppercase A's, what result do you think we are going to get? We get false. Even though we have two A's next to each other, two uppercase A's are treated differently. They have a different ASCII code. I recommend checking out the ASCII table so you can see the codes. And it's always good to, you know, have an idea of what the codes are. Uppercase A is 65, lowercase A is 90. Seven. So, you know, there are, you know, there's, there's a lot more that you can do with regular expressions, but the essence is this, that you have a string, you are checking for a particular pattern, and you'll be either true or false. You could start doing some crazy stuff if it contains this character, then this one afterwards, then maybe a space, or, you know, whatever it is. You can also use regular expressions to check the format of it beyond just a small pattern. You could do it to see if it's an email address, you know, you would have to, so an email address would essentially have to be something like email at, you know, you know, domain.com. If, for example, it was that, that would not be a valid email address. And there's other things that you could, you know, use it for to check if it's a valid phone number as well. Not that it's a valid phone number in, in the case that it works, but the format is valid. But um, what I'm going to do is provide an amazing link that provides you with all the information of the regular expressions in Kotlin. But if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.